No, I think it was a very intense game between two teams who gave absolutely everything and uh, I would say the team who uh, won tonight is Atletico Madrid. Uh, congratulations to them, good luck in the final and uh, I would say the winner of uh, tonight's game is a clear favourite to win, to win the competition. just maybe the missing in the final third? Yeah, we missed something in the final third because we had plenty of opportunities. If you look at the number of chances we created in the two games, uh, the least you can say that uh, we can be very frustrated. In the first game, uh, the tie should be over in the first game and then the second game in the first half, we had plenty of opportunities uh, that uh, we missed always something in the final ball, even uh, in the second half. But... Uh, and they are a team who defends uh, well. I believe uh, as well we're a bit unlucky on a few times because I think Gabi is uh, happy uh, to stay on the pitch. They broke a few contra-attacks voluntarily and they took uh, the referee a while to, to give a yellow to, to Gabi and in situations where uh, we could have uh, been very dangerous. and. Uh, but overall, they are a clever side who defends very well. I think uh, Godin tonight uh, saved uh, five, six balls on crosses, absolutely in amazing positions. They're, they're great defenders. Arsene, obviously your team are very disappointed, but what are your emotions tonight on, a, on your last European night at the club? Look, I'm uh, like uh, the team, very sad and very disappointed. Overall, uh, um, even very frustrated as well because when you go out of a competition and uh, you had the performances in the 180 minutes we had, it's uh, very difficult to take. But uh, it is well for the club uh, now some time to think about what to do for next season. And uh, I think there are some good ingredients in our team and uh, they will bounce back with players have the quality and uh, with the right additions in the summer uh, the team will compete next year. Uh, Arsene, Martin Keown has been fairly brutal on Meza Ozil in his analysis of the games and he's not fit to wear the shirt after that performance he was hiding, he wasn't giving his all. What were your thoughts on those comments and Ozil's performance? No, I don't agree with that. I think uh, you will see that uh, when you analyze his uh, physical performance, that he gave a lot tonight. Uh, it, was, it's, it was a difficult game, you know, and uh, uh, physically very intense. And uh, I'm convinced that uh, Ozil uh, should not be now vindicated uh, by anybody uh, because we, we didn't score. We, we had plenty of opportunities in the two games and uh, we lose as a team and uh, uh, I don't agree with that uh, coming out now straight away. When you want to to be listened to now, you have always to be extreme, you know, and uh, football is a bit more complicated than that and a bit more complex. Uh, it doesn't look very good. And uh, his Achilles is... Uh, Hopefully, uh, you can always hope for a miracle, you know, in the scan that you will make, but the first signs uh, don't look very good. Uh, you will know that uh, more. It looks that it could be uh, that, but uh, I'm a bit cautious because uh, nobody can say that uh, just by looking at him clinically. Just a couple more in the middle there. Oh, so what would you say, Kushelny's chance after the World Cup? Well, that depends on the scan. If he has a, a ruptured Achilles, is, the chances are very n n non-existent. We know more after the scan. Hey, hi, Arsene Derma from, from ESPN. Uh, just to ask you about your own future, do you see yourself ever coaching in La Liga? Is it something that, that you would consider in the future or something that you would like to do? Look, after uh, I have to recover first from... Uh, uh, that huge disappointment tonight and I'm very, very sad to, to leave the club uh, with that exit and uh, I take some time uh, to recover from that and uh, after I will see what I do with myself 
in the future. I have no plan at the moment.